Hey, it's Brad from Kickstarter PPC, and today we're going to be going through whether you should only be using scale insights for the data or for automation as well. And automation can sound tedious, especially if you're not using it at the moment, but if you're using the right way, it can be a brilliant tool to use. So you're probably already using it for the data now, but let's see if you should be using it for the automation as well. Let's jump into it. Now, if you don't have Scale Insights now, which I assume most of you do, there's a 10% off lifetime discount code in the description. You sign up using that link, you'll get access to that code, and you'll also get a 30-day free trial, no need for a credit card. But for most of you that already have the software, I assume most of you are using it for the metrics, which are unbeatable in my opinion. If you dive into everything, and this is the demo account so I can show you everything, you just get so much information about your accounts. So as a minimum for a business owner, this is what you should be looking at on a daily, weekly basis. You obviously don't wanna get obsessed with the numbers and be looking every day, every hour of the day, but looking in weekly, analyzing day by day sales trends, tacos trends, you can see all of that and it's brilliant for that. Now where the data gets really good is when you can actually look at things such as sessions, conversion rates, and you can do it on a, it's not just a weekly basis, but a day by day basis. So have a look at certain days of the week. You can see where say the conversion rate of PPC sales has decreased. So you're getting a lot more organic on that day, or maybe your PPC spend has gone down for whatever reason. That might be something you want to check out more detail. Um, impressions as well. So you can see where you've got more impressions, maybe where you've increased the bids. You can see on you know CPC data, PPC conversion rates, TACOS, return on investments. This is all to, to do with your COGS, so you can put that in there as well. Get a really representative number on your business there. Um, there's a lot of things you can take into account. It's all on one dashboard per product. So brilliant, and we use it for all our clients. Now, there's a lot more data you can go into. So you can look at uh, sales by date for the overall count, 30 days. Have a look at everything you need to. You can also go into add insights. So you can find a lot of information about the search terms you're using. So it pulls all of that. Advertising trends. So that's the same dashboard you were looking at before. You can go into sales. Look at the monthly trend, the day parting trend. This is something that we like to know about quite a lot. So you can see what days of the week you're doing better. Um, hourly, day of the week sales per product, and hour of the week. So you've got all of this data here. Scale Insights gives it to you on a silver platter. So if you're not using it already, I would get familiar with the platform, figure out how to use the numbers, and it'll really help out your business. It helps us out big time, understand our clients, and figure out where we can improve things. Now, the tedious part for many of you is setting up your own Scale Insights automation. And the Scale Insights automation by default is really good. So if you use the default rules, you'll probably be all right. But if you want to take it to the next level, you need to build out your own rule set. And we've got our own rule set. We apply it to our businesses that we work with, and we've had pretty good results with that. And, you know, as a result, we really think that you should be building out your own rule set or working with someone who does have a good rule set that they can apply to your account. Now, there are so many options here of what you can use the platform for, such as day parting. That's a really good thing to use, especially if your product really needs it. If your product works better in the daytime, day part the nighttime. So you're not spending useless money and you're saving. It really helps your tacos. Same with the bidding rule. This is the bread and butter of Scale Insights on the automation. So having the bidding rules set up properly will do you really good there. Negative rules, you can do this if you want to. If you want to have it automated from start to finish, you can do this. But we use the negative word rule and we pull from the search and reports. So that's also an option as well. Um, you can uh, blacklist and whitelist rule. We pull from the search and report, put it in these rules here and that does the trick for us. You might want to automate the whole process, which is fine as well. There's also a number of other rules here, such as the revive, status, daily budget rule, and placements. So use it as you will. Check it out, figure out how to set these rules up. Um, I'll show you real quick how to get a rule created. So you just go in and create a rule, criteria profile, and you put in your criteria as you want it. 
And once you have that, you then go apply. So you go to your criteria. It's like criteria and it will show up like that keyword criteria. You can name it, add a description, priority, uh, minimum and maximum bid and fill in all of this information as you see fit. We do have a video on this. So if you want to get more detail about the rules themselves, or you want to know more about how to use a specific rule, um, an overview, check it out, check out our channel and find out a lot more about scale insights to answer the question, whether you use the data or the automation, we can't not use the data because scale insights gives such good and detailed data about your Amazon account. And also the automation, if used in the right way, can be brilliant for an Amazon business. So we like to use both, but we're interested in hearing from you. Let us know in the comments. Do you use automation? Do you use the data? Curious to know what you guys think. And if you want to learn more about Scale Insights, Amazon PPC, subscribe to the channel because we're going to be bringing out a lot of Amazon PPC, FBA related content, and you won't want to miss out on it. Now, we hope you liked today's video and we hope you got a lot out of it. So until next video, hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you then. Bye.